Challenger moves to the launch pad and then launches on April 29th, only to crash and kill all aboard. I remember that day, you guys. I remember, you know, watching that live and just being in shock. Uh, and But it worries me because Venus retrograde represents how SpaceX operates by developing a fully reusable super heavy lift launch system known as a Starship, a very Venus retrograde theme of return. Um, so it seems like every time Venus goes retrograde, there's something significant with these launches. Uh, and I'm hoping that it's not what happened with uh, Challenger, right? Um, Venus is going to be retrograde from July 23rd to September 4th. So watch for the spa space launches then. And I looked them up and they're going to be July 17th. The new moon will arrive at 2.32 p.m. Um Third quarter, a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket will launch the Euclid mission for the European Space Agency. Euclid aims to earn to learn more about the parts of the universe we can't see, specifically dark energy and dark matter. Um, you know, as you know, my husband is is a, is a physicist, and you know, he doesn't believe in dark energy and dark matter. So I think what's going to happen is there's this big push. Um, for mainstream mainstream science to um, kind of you know revolutionize itself and absorb some of the new theories that have been proposed, for instance, from the Thunder Thunderbolts group, um, and I think that a lot of new research is going to come out at this time, especially because you know Saturn's in Aquarius. Um, and so this is, you know, themes that we see from the past that can apply to now, right? Uh, also just scheduled to launch in July from Space Flight Now, um, SpaceX Falcon, we've got that. Um, and then, of course, more film and sports accomplishments, I think, are going to be seen through the end of this 